when you talk about appointed judges, check this out. I caught wind of this this week. Smeagol and Deagol here. Mm -hmm. With two new Senate appointments, Trudeau has now appointed half of the Senate, half of the upper house. Right. So you have basically stacking the deck here. Uh, yep. Again, CBC here, stacking the deck in the Senate, stacking the deck in the courts. So uh, what we're talking about, suing people and, and trying to hold people to account, uh, what do you think the legal landscape is? Because if all these people are beholden to their sock boy master, how do we, like, uh, you know, what, what, do you, what do you see happening here, Chris? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this anonymously. Uh, not anonymously. I'm going to say I'm going to keep the person anonymous that said this to me, who is a lawyer somebody who I hold in high regard and they had a meeting with a group of other lawyers and a couple of judges. And they said to this group at this luncheon as a warning, but not a warning. It was more of a recall history, if you will. And the statement was that if you don't do your job of maintaining transparency and integrity in your capacity as a judge and as officers of the law and of the court, you're demanding that the public takes matters into their own hands. We are here, is what he said. We are here to make sure that there is faith and confidence in what we do to prevent anarchy. Because the minute we lose our integrity, we're ensuring anarchy. And that's exactly what's going to happen, unfortunately. As much as we don't want that to happen, because who wants to live in that environment? It's like these people are so daft. It's like their bank account numbers matter more to them than doing the right thing when nobody's looking. And people are looking, actually. And they're getting pissed off. And what do you think? Like, read a freaking history book. What do you think happens when the only thing that should be in place to prevent these things from happening are corrupted too? It's like you're asking the people to take matters into their own hands and encouraging vigilantism. Like, Maybe that's what they want, though. Maybe I don't know. I, I'm trying to wrap my head around it. Is is that to you, TJ? Is that what you, it looks like to you? Does it look like they're trying to just poke the bear? Because it almost seems to me like that's what they're trying to do. They might be trying to poke the bear, and they might be trying to get somebody to do something so that they can justify what right. comes next. Right. You know? Make, yeah, make that, us act. Yeah. Which is exactly during the Freedom Convoy. Mean. Yeah, yeah, exactly. During the Freedom Convoy, that was what our side, our side being the freedom side, which is stay peaceful, stay peaceful, stay peaceful. Don't don't even friggin litter. Like, don't do anything that they could possibly use as a reason to crack down on you, because they'll wait for it. Wait for somebody to do something stupid and they'll they'll, they'll come down with the full full weight of the law and the full. Well, not even just the full weight of the law, the full weight of the system. Uh, upon us to establish whatever it is they're trying to achieve. So uh, that there's always a growing concern, you know, false flags, or whatever. It's a growing concern, or not even necessarily a false flag, just creating the uh, cause someone to react uh, in a way that might be uh, <laughs> unsavory, we'll say, and uh, well, I, and, and then use that as an excuse. <laughs> well, and you know what the best part is? is there's an easy way to combat this, and I use this all the time. And I use this, this just two weeks ago against not against but in conversation with a uh, a friend of mine. i have friends that are on both sides of the political landscape because i'm not conservative i'm not liberal i am common sense i am anti-corruption that is you know we're supposed to be apolitical as police so i just kind of always been that way and i kind of let the the temperature of what we're dealing with dictate exactly you know what i feel and think about the situation and and i was anti-trudeau right from the get-go because he exemplified corruption right from day one but anyway mm -hmm. Conversation I had with a friend of mine who's a liberal, um, no longer a liberal, by the way, is very much so against the party because of Justin Trudeau and his corrupt, feckless piece of crap government that he has in place. But anyway, I digress. Um, so the conversation was surrounding the convoy. And this friend of mine says, well, yeah, but like, I get that you are in favor of the intention of going, but there was still some crazy things that the people there did. And it was justified to bring in the police. So I said, I said to my friend, I said, tell you what, 500 bucks, four brown bills. I will give you four brown bills if you can provide to me undoctored video 
because we live in an age where everything's videoed. There were storefronts everywhere. There was cell phones everywhere. Other than the Nazi flag and the Confederate flag that was just so happened to be captured by Trudeau's personal photographer, by dudes in balaclavas, whereas nobody else at the convoy is wearing balaclavas, everyone had their faces exposed, just so everyone's aware. If I could interject at the hotel, by the way, where the RCMP were staying, just saying. Right. Chateau Laurier, where the RCMP <laughs> yeah. was staying. Yeah, that if I were to be hired to do an investigation, I would have this whole thing sussed out rather quickly. But anyway, I said four brown bills. Provide me video evidence that shows that the people at the convoy engaged in nefarious and criminal activity as alleged by our government and by the media. I said, I'll give you a week. A week later, my friend comes back to me. It's like, I got nothing. I got nothing. I'm like, you know what? I knew you'd have nothing. And I was confident enough to double it to a thousand. But now that you know you have nothing, it's up to you to go and tell everybody else in your circles how much you've been gaslit. And that's exactly mm -hmm. what's happening. He's getting back to me. He's like, I'm telling everybody, man. And like, I give the same challenge and no one's able to come back. It's only been a week, but so far, I mean, back. It's only been a week, but so far, I mean, nothing's come back because you won't find anything. They lied to you just like they lied to you about everything else. Yeah.